Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today I'm doing a brand review of CarPro, one of my favorite car detailing products brands. Uh, of course, they've won many, many awards in my annual car detailing products awards video. A quick disclaimer, this is not a paid review. CarPro did not pay for this video. They did not send me these products. I ordered all of these myself. And by the way, I'll leave links to all of these products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax and enjoy the show. So what is a brand review? Essentially, I go through pretty much the entire lineup of their chemicals, including all their ceramic coatings that they're famous for. I'm going to give you an idea of what they are, what they do, how to use them, give you tips and tricks so you guys can have a better overlook or an overview of the entire brand. And this one is top tier, by the way. They're all products that you guys can purchase and use, of course, at home. And whether you're a professional car detailer, a weekend warrior, car detailing enthusiast, it doesn't matter. If you're looking for a top tier brand, and this is one of them. So let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pan, welcome to the show. So let's dig right into it. I know you guys are as excited as I am. Uh, this is one of those ones that uh, has been heavily, heavily requested. Uh, and I was able to accumulate pretty much the entire lineup of products from CarPro. So we're gonna go over all of them from their uh, washes to uh, products for the wheels and tires, everything for the interior, exterior. We have uh, chemical decontamination. Uh, we have things of course to polish glass and paint, uh, polish removers of course. Uh, we have glass cleaners, we have their protectants, uh, both for inside and out, anything for coating maintenance, and of course, uh, they're super renowned for their ceramic coating, so we have pretty much the entire suite of those coatings here. So let's start immediately with the uh, pre-wash or snow foams. So all, as you guys know, if you've been following my videos, the uh, pre-wash stage is so you can blanket the entire vehicle and coat it with a snow foam, so that way you're starting to emulsify or encapsulate the loose dirt and debris and a bit of lubrication before the contact wash or before the hand wash. So that's always in an effort to minimize the amounts of swirls and scratches during the contact wash. Uh, and so they have CarPro Lift. So this is one of their newer products. And by the way, this is near their new branding that they unveiled a few years ago. So very, very sleek. One of the best ones out there. Sleek design, simple. Uh, you get the product description, the name. It is very modern looking. You get the instructions on the side of the bottle. So basically, this you put inside your foam cannon. Always follow the instructions, by the way, of every product you're using. It is very important. They're there for a reason. Uh, so the uh, recommended dilution for this is 10 to 1, 10 parts to water to one part of product uh, inside your uh, foam cannon. You're going to let it dwell for a few minutes. Try to avoid working in direct sunlight with any of these products, like any other car detailing products brand out there, uh, to get the best results. Work in the shade or in a garage when possible. Uh, so yeah, this is going to basically, this is a higher pH or higher alkaline version of a snow foam. Uh, it's supposed to help remove a bit of that grime and traffic film that accumulates over time and that can mask your ceramic coatings property. So this is uh, some pretty strong stuff. I think it's pH 11 or 12 if my memory serves me right. So it's uh, on the higher end of the pH scale and it does a fantastic job. By the way, if you want to see individual demos for pretty much all of these products, I have tons of videos with CarPro products on my channel. So go ahead and check those out. Uh, so yeah, CarPro Lift. This is on the alkaline side. It's a, a pre-wash snow foam. Uh, next, so if you want to combine some things, there are many products in the lineup uh, that are like combination of two different products in one. So this one here is the Iron X Snow Foam. So this is a snow foam that you can put either in your bucket wash for the hand method or in your foam cannon, and it has light iron removing capabilities. So CarPro is known for Iron X, more on that in just a, a few minutes. So that's an iron remover. So basically you're getting the best of both worlds. You get a shampoo that has a bit of iron decontamination capabilities built in. This is great for maintenance uh, or for you guys who like to combine two actions in one. Uh, by the way, I'll let you know my favorite products in the range as well, uh, which ones I prefer a little less and if there's any improvements that they can make in the future, because I know brands uh, watch the Pan the Organizer channel and especially they uh, read you guys' comments and feedback so they can improve on their future products. So we're gonna let them know. So Iron X Snow Soap. 
One of their newer product offerings for 2022 is CarPro Descale. So this one here is a, another pre-wash that you're gonna put in your foam can, and you can also use this in the bucket wash. And this is more of a Nasidic car shampoo, so lower in the pH range. And this one here, if you're looking for a stripping shampoo to remove any older waxes or any older pain sealants before you start your uh, procedures or your steps to apply a ceramic coating, we like to remove any of that uh, previous wax sealant or previous protection and this is one of them uh, it can also help to fight any water spotting issues that you have so water spots traditionally uh, there are mineral deposits left so when the water evaporates if you live in an area with hard water issues uh, or if you uh, are near a sprinkler or something like that and there was hard water that evaporated left minerals behind those can etch through the clear coat if you don't take care of them so you need usually a um, an acidic type product to help combat those minerals. And this is one of them that works very, very well. Do not use this in direct sunlight and do not let it dry on paintwork. That is very important. So it works fantastically well. If it's not done yet, uh, you're probably gonna see a video involving this on my channel soon. So check that out, CarPro D scale. So fantastic, lower on the pH scale. By the way, you can do a combination, right? If you wanna play, depending on what type of contamination or grime is on your vehicle. So if you wanna remove that oily stuff like traffic film that is masking your coating's properties, something like lift, and then you can follow up if you have a bit of water spots and uh, things of that nature, or you wanna break down uh, older uh, paint protectants, you're gonna use something like D-Scale. So you can use in one after the other, there is no problem with that. Then for maintenance of ceramic coatings, the shampoo that has taken first place pretty much every single year is CarPro Reset. I love this on coated cars. So whether you have a ceramic coating or a graphene coating, this is absolutely fantastic. It is an intensive uh, paintwork cleanser. It works fantastically well to help restore or maintain the hydrophobic properties of your coating over time. So if you use this on a regular basis, there shouldn't be that much traffic buildup over time, traffic film buildup, I mean, over time or that grime. So so uh, this is a as um, uh, as pure as a shampoo as you can get. There's no additives inside there. There's no protection. It is a pure shampoo. Uh, so for the bucket wash, but by the way, you can also use this in a foam cannon. You got to play with the dilutions because there are many reasons or factors that influence how much foam or quality of foam that you're getting out of your foam cannon. Uh, namely, the type of pressure washer. The more gallons per minute of water output, the better. Uh, the type of foam cannon. Uh, the water quality that you have. Do you have deionized water, water softener? Is it hard water? issues, that kind of stuff. And of course, the type of snow foam. So play around with your dilutions to find the best dilution for you. But CarPro Reset, if you're looking for a crazy good shampoo, is this, it, it's perhaps a bit too strong if you have just a regular wax or sealant. So I would use this more for ceramic based or graphene based paint protectants. Uh, next, another new product in their lineup for uh, 2022. This is CarPro Retire. So what is this exactly? Basically, it's a heavy degreaser. It's gonna remove any old tire dressing and all of that tire browning, right? A lot of tires, when you look at them over time, if you don't maintain them often, or if you're working on a uh, dirty customer vehicle, uh, you're gonna notice there's a lot of browning. So all those ozonites that eventually oxidize and brown on the surface, a lot of dirt and grime, especially before applying a longer lasting tire coating, Right? or even if you want your tire dressing, so a typical dressing will last anywhere from a week to three to four weeks, and a tire coating uh, over a month, some last five, six plus months, more on that later in the lineup, uh, but you always wanna prep the rubber before you apply any type of dressing or coating on your tire that is crucial. And this here does a crazy good job. It comes with a foaming trigger. You spray it on, you're gonna let that dwell, agitate with a uh, nylon bristle brush or something along that nature, whatever brush you use to scrub your tires, uh, thoroughly rinse. And that is a perfect step to make sure you don't get any tire, sling, uh, any tire slinging and to make sure that the um, tire coating or tire dressing bonds properly on your tire. But especially before you apply a tire coating, this is absolutely fantastic. Next in their lineup, they have an all-purpose cleaner, a uh, very effective one, and this is, they call it Multi-X. So you can use this in a variety of different ways, both inside and outside the vehicle. Uh, the standard recommended dilution is 20 parts of water to one part of product, uh, but you can dilute at higher concentrations if you have tougher road grime and all that kind of stuff. So for the exterior of the vehicle, you can do it five to one, 10 to one, that kind of things. Uh, if you wanna use 
use it an APC to clean your tires and wheels, maybe three to one, four to one. You gotta play with your dilutions a bit. Uh, for the interior, try to be more conservative, 15 to one, 20 to one. So uh, yeah, this is some pretty powerful stuff. So again, all purpose cleaner, both for interior and exterior. I think it, the uh, name says it all. Next, we move to their uh, chemical decontamination products. So one that they're very well known for is CarPro Tar X. So as the name states, this is a tar remover, but it's also uh, an adhesive remover. So for example, if you remo remove any decals, some old PPF or any uh, sticker or wrap that you might have on your vehicle, and there's some glue residue left behind, this is perfect for that. Uh, if you have any tar deposits, obviously uh, from the, uh, the road, the asphalt, that kind of stuff, or rubber um, tire marks, you spray this on, you let it dwell. I ideally too, you can use this to remove a bit of traffic film over time. Don't overuse this though on ceramic coatings. Uh, don't use this on a regular basis because this is some very powerful stuff and it can weaken coatings over time. So every once in a while or as need be. And try to use this uh, on a um, spot precision uh, type basis, right? So for example, if you have tar deposits near the uh, fender well, so on the bottom parts of the uh, rocker panels or door panels, you're gonna wanna spray this locally, not necessarily all over the vehicle if it's not needed. So do a, a spot treatment, let it dwell. You can use a light microfiber towel to uh, lightly agitate. Mechanical agitation is usually a good thing or a soft bristle brush and then you thoroughly rinse and you're good to go. Uh, so it's always good to use of course chemical decon after washing a vehicle as the first step before the clay bar, before the polishing and before you apply a ceramic coating. So chemical decontamination is super crucial. I have of course a full um, tutorial on my channel on how to apply a ceramic coating properly or a graphene coating so check that out. Uh, another part of their chemical decon is Iron X. So uh, what I like to do if you're doing both, if you need both, I would start with the tar remover first and then move to the iron remover. So this one here is the cherry scented version, but uh, even though it's cherry scented, as you guys know, uh, the TGA that's in there, the active component to help fight um, iron deposits, uh, iron particles, brake dust, industrial fallout, that kind of stuff, it smells like rotten eggs. Uh, there are not many products on the market, unfortunately, that smell good as far as iron removers are concerned, but this is one of the best ones, the most effective ones. Uh, do not let it dry on the surface. Again, that's crucial. Work in the shade on a cool surface. Uh, you can spray this even on glass surfaces, on your paintwork, of course. So this is gonna fight those rust spots, right? Those orange uh, oxidized spots that you see on lighter colored vehicles, but all dark colors too have eventually uh, brake dust. So those are the iron particles or ferrous deposits that uh, need to be dissolved or need to alter the shape so you can rinse them away. And this is what this type of product does. So Iron X, another chemical decon step. And by the way, if you have a ceramic coating or a graphene coating on your vehicle, every two to three months, it's actually recommended not only to apply a silica spray sealant for maintenance, more on that in a few minutes, uh, but actually you can use things like this, an iron remover. This is, believe it or not, pH neutral. So when you're spraying it and it's reacting, it goes a little bit towards the acidic side, but not that much. But when in the bottle, it's pH neutral and it will not damage your ceramic coatings. They have a large span of pH products and chemicals that they can resist to. Typically coatings resist pH 2 to 3 all the way up to pH 11, 12, 13. So there's that wide window of chemicals they can resist. And uh, so no problem to use this. It's actually recommended for maintenance to help combat all those ferrous deposits. Next, uh, if you have water spotting issues, whether you have no protection on your paint or you have a ceramic coating, uh, so this is a new formulation for 2022. This is their Spotless 2.0. So basically, this is a uh, intensive water spot remover for all surfaces. You can spray this on glass as well, as long as your glass is not hot and do not let it dwell on glass for more than two minutes. Also, don't use this in direct sunlight. Uh, like all the chemicals, use them on a cool surface in the shade or in a garage. Uh, so again, this is gonna help to really fight those water spots. You can spray that on. Uh, you can even uh, spray it on and then agitate with a, a microfiber towel or a microfiber wash mitt. So the mechanical agitation helps to further break down those mineral deposits. Uh, and you uh, go ahead and you thoroughly rinse away and that's it. Don't let it dwell more than the recommended time and don't let it dry on the surface. Again, very important, follow those steps. So there's always something, as you can tell, to fight whatever issues you're having, whether your car is unprotected or has some type of ceramic coating or graphene coating on it, they have products to help you out.
So some other contamination that you might have on your vehicle, uh, if you have paint protection, bugs are always easier to remove, right? Whether your vehicle has a wax on it, a paint sealant, or a coating, uh, if you have protection, well, things stick less to the surface and they're much easier to clean. So for the bugs and bug guts, CarPro has thought of Bug Out. This is an intensive bug remover. It works super well. It will not harm your ceramic coating, so don't worry. You basically spray this on, you let it dwell once again. You can agitate with a microfiber towel or wash mitt if there is a lot of them on there, and then you thoroughly rinse, and then you can move on to your wash stage if need be. But uh, yeah, so a good bug remover. So you're done with the chemical decontamination of the paint and typically another step before you go on to machine polishing is to do a clay bar. And of course, they thought about it. They have CarPro Emo Lube as your clay lubricant. As you guys know, for those who have been following my channel for a while now, you know I prefer dedicated clay lubricants. Some people just like to use soapy water uh, with their clay bar. I tend to uh, like clay lubes better because I think for that task, they add more lubrication and they're better at what they do. Uh, so Emo Lube, you use use directly out of the bottle, you spray on, you start rubbing with the clay bar, clay towel, or clay mitt. Uh, CarPro has some fantastic clay towels, by the way. Today, we're focusing on the chemicals, though, uh, but they have a lot of tools, products, and equipment and stuff that you can use to detail cars. So yeah, Emolube, clay lubricant, I think the name states it's for itself. So uh, next, we're going to move into the polishes. They have a range of different polishes. I'm going to explain what they are, of course, and what they do. So one of the first ones is Seri Glass. What is this? As the name states, you guessed it, it's for use on glass. Now this one here, why is it specifically made for glass? It has cerium oxide. So this is a heavier duty polish made specifically for glass, not for paintwork, guys. Uh, and this can help to remove any light swirls or scratches that you have on the glass. Uh, also, any marks that you have over time from the wipers, we usually see some edge or some traces right after many, many years of using those wipers and just washing the vehicle isn't enough sometimes. Or if you want to prep your glass before you apply a glass coating or a glass sealant, this is fantastic. They have some rayon pads as well that are glass pads made for polishing glass. They're super thin and they're made to transfer the most energy as possible on the glass surface when you're polishing because don't forget glass is a lot stronger compared to your paintwork so you need some heavy duty stuff and you're going to use your uh, machine polisher at a higher speed i have a glass polishing tutorial on my channel if you want to see all that so if you want to remove any previous protection on your glass if you want to remove uh, some water spotting if you want to remove those very very light hairline scratches or swirls not those deep grooves or deep scratches right if it's if you can run your finger over it and you can feel those scratches it's too far gone uh, uh, but for anything else, Seri Glass works fantastically well in combination with a glass polishing pad. Uh, of course, they have uh, compounds and polishes, so uh, polishing fluids for your paintwork to correct any scratches and swirls. So their compound in the lineup that I really like is Ultra Cut. So this one here has a lot of cutting power. So if you have any deeper scratches, deeper swirl marks, or a heavy oxidation on your paint, the first step is to start with a compound. So this is the bigger and heavier abrasives. And you're going to use this with, of course, either a microfiber pad or um, one of those foam pads that is made for compounds. There's, of course, a tons of pads out there from different brands. So always do test spots, of course, before you start polishing paint to see what combination of product and pad is best for the paint you are working on. Uh, but yeah, this this one here, they're all low dusting and uh, they're, they're very, very, very good. And this one here has extreme cutting capability. So if you need that, go with that. If you have just light swirls and scratches uh, and you just want to polish your vehicle, of course, they have a polish. And this is one of my favorite ones. This is CarPro Reflect. So uh, basically, it's a finishing polish. So the as you can see here on the scale, the cutting capability is a lot lower, but the gloss is super high on the scale because this is made, as the name states, to reflect. So incre increase depth of gloss, clarity, of course, in the paintwork, increase gloss. That is the most important thing. And uh, you're removing some light swirls, some light scratches, and of course, all the marks left behind by the compound stage, especially the hazing from that step. If you did a compound before, you know that you always follow up with a polishing stage. Uh, so this one here, again, works very, very well. And by the way, of course, you guys know if you've been following my channel, the number one way to have the most increase in gloss visually is not by adding ceramic coatings or waxes or all paint protectants. Yes, they bump up gloss a bit, but the biggest increase is always through machine polishing. 
compound and polish or just polish regardless when you're cutting that surface you're exposing a fresh new layer of that clear coat you're making it flatter and truer and hence you're getting better light reflection and in translation you're getting a better gloss quality and clarity to your eyes so uh, yeah carpro reflect fantastic polish now some people might have paint that's almost perfect. They have just very, very light swirls and scratches. Uh, they don't necessarily want to go through a complicated uh, two-step polish with a compound and a polish, and they want something that just will act also as a primer for their ceramic coating. So CarPro is known for this. They have CarPro Essence. So this basically is really a finishing polish. And if you can see here on the scale, there's a little to no cutting and the gloss is maximum because this is basically like a glaze that you'd apply before a wax or a sealant. Well, see this as a glaze for a ceramic coating. So there's some semi-permanent fillers in there that will fill in those swirls and scratches so you don't see them as much, right? So you're kind of cheating the paint correction. Uh, but this also serves or doubles as a primer. So to have a better bond of either your CarPro Reload, a silica spray sealant, or one of their paint ceramic coatings on your paint. This can help as a primer to help that product bond. So yeah, CarPro Essence. Now, another polish that they have, I get uh, that question asked a lot. If you have a ceramic coating that's been there for a few years and there are some defects on it, like some light scratches, some light swirls, or a bit of oxidation, uh, can you polish the ceramic coating? Typically, the answer is no, because polishes and compounds have abrasives in there and you're going to damage your coating or you're going to render it ineffective because you're going to be like scratching the top part or the top layers and you could change the hydrophobic properties, right? So we typically only use chemical decontamination for existing ceramic coatings, but... CarPro is one of the rare ones. I think the only one on the market, to my knowledge, let me know if you guys know of another one, but this is Essence Plus. So not the regular Essence that we saw before, really the Essence Plus. This one here is made to correct some light defects like swirls and scratches, very light ones, but on existing ceramic coatings without damaging the coating. And this is gonna leave behind um, another layer of a very light protection. And if you can see here, why it won't damage the coating because there are no abrasives in there. So it's a zero on the scale for cutting. And this is bare, uh, essentially only for gloss and it's gonna help to lightly remove or fill in those scratches and swirls or very minor defects on existing coatings. For all of you guys, if you use proper washing and drying techniques, you should not have to deal with scratches or swirls on your ceramic coating. However, uh, if you're a professional out there, you might be dealing with a customer's vehicle and they don't necessarily know the proper ways uh, of doing maintenance work on their vehicle. And if they have those light defects, well, know that that you can use Essence Plus to help correct those without damaging the coating. So you're done washing the car, of course, you did the chemical decontamination, you did the clay bar, you did the machine polishing steps, so now everything is good, right? Ah, there's one more step, and of course, you guys that follow my channel, you know this, we need an IPA wipe down or isopropyl alcohol mix to help remove polishing oils from the surface uh, and hence promote a better bonding of the coating to the clear coat. So it's important that there's no interference before you, be between your clear coat and the ceramic coating if you want a proper bond and of course to maximize durability and that's why it's important to go through all the previous prep steps before you apply coating to also make sure that you remove any previous paint protection that is crucial before you apply a coating that's in a glass bottle those need to bond directly to virgin clear coat uh, so after polishing you would use something like this carpro eraser this is an intensive oil and polish remover so it's going to remove all again those polishing oils and make your surface squeaky squeaky clean a trick to know that you removed properly properly any previous protection. Spray some water after this step and you're going to see if it's the sheet is very flat, there's no water beating and the water is very slow to sheet off, you know that you removed the protection. If there's still protection, you're going to get some water beating so you probably still have to go through uh, a bit more polishing steps and perhaps another step of this eraser IPA wipe. So next, we're gonna talk about their ceramic coatings. This is one of my favorite parts. It is my favorite form of paint protection. Any coating, whether it's graphene or ceramic coating, uh, the ones in glass bottles, those are the most durable. So they last for years instead of a few months like traditional waxes or sealants. They have the best UV protection, the best gloss, the best slickness, the best hydrophobic properties by far, the water beating, and most importantly for many, the self-cleaning properties. Now that doesn't mean that the vehicle cleans itself. It means that the vehicle is a lot easier easier to clean during maintenance washes because dirt and grime has a lot less of a tendency to stick on the surface. 
So they are renowned for my favorite consumer grade ceramic coating that takes first place every year. This is CarPro Seaquartz UK 3.0. So CarPro is one of the first companies that really pioneered the ceramic coating technology. And now we're talking, uh, I was using this way before even my channel first started, uh, but this is their newest version. So this is Seaquartz UK 3.0. Uh, two years of claimed durability. And I mean, all the properties we're talking about, very easy to apply. They recommend two coats. Wait about 45 minutes to an hour between the two coats. Wait 24 hours when you're done applying the coating before exposing the car to water or rain. And always wait seven to 14 days before you wash your car again, regardless of what type of ceramic coating you applied on your car. So this one here, a fantastic coating. I've been testing this for years and I always either reach the 24 months of durability or slightly more, 25, 26 months. And this is even through the harsh Canadian winters that we have with crazy road salts. So some people go beyond that. Don't forget to maintain your coatings. More on that when we get to the maintenance products. So another new product that they released last year, this one here, CarPro SIC. So this one here is a... Uh, product that's made of silicon carbide, so silica carbide fusion. Uh, this one here, durability 18 to 24 months once again. And uh, the cool thing is you can use this as a standalone. So this has great um, water spotting resistance because that's one caveat of ceramic coatings used alone. They're more prone to have water spotting issues. That's why they created toppers. We're getting to that. So basically a top layer to, to help combat that. Uh, but this one here resists that good. And a lot of people, including myself, have noticed that it's a perfect combination. So CarPro Seaquartz UK 3.0, you add a topper of CarPro SIC, and this is a fantastic killer combo. So you're getting the best of both worlds. Uh, if not, you have this as a topper for CarPro Seaquartz UK 3.0. This is CarPro Gliss. So this one here is a hyper slick top coating that is made to not only increase the slickness on the surface, but to have an aggressive water contact angle and to help sheet the water quickly so you can reduce the chances of having water spots on your ceramic coating. So see this as a top layer of protection. So you can apply this when you're done uh, applying CarPro Seaquartz UK 3.0, your final coat, wait three to four hours, and then you can apply one layer of this and then continue waiting 24 hours before you expose the vehicle to water or rain. Or if, for example, it's been six months to a year that you've applied a coating and you want to refresh it and boost the, the hydrophobic properties, the slickness, and help combat those water spots, well, you can apply CarPro Gliss. So if you had, for example, CarPro Seaquartz UK for the last year and you never really had any topper on it, now it's time to refresh it. So use CarPro Gliss. This is the 2.0 version, so the uh, most recent one. Uh, next for the interior leather. CarPro has developed, they had a previous ceramic coating for leather. Now they have this new leather 2.0. Basically what this is, guys, if you've been following my channel, I have a video that I made with uh, leather specialists from Colorlock. They're world renowned for the automotive leather care. Uh, these guys are real experts. And what they were explaining is that a lot of people are confused, right? The people like to clean and apply leather conditioners, but conditioners are made for really cracked leather or things that have been open with time so you can penetrate the layers and recondition the leather. But normally if your leather is not damaged, especially on new vehicles, one, two, three, or four years, uh, well, the only thing you need to do is protect them against friction damage, against dye transfer, liquid spills, against the UV rays, and against uh, wear and tear over time. So you would clean them and apply a leather coating on top. So something like this, it is fantastic. It's going to resist dye transfer. So if you have jeans, for example, very easy to clean when you have this kind of protectant. If you have any liquid spills, it's a breeze because you're going to have a hydrophobic uh, surface, basically. Because don't forget, modern leather on 99.9% .9 of vehicles in the last 10 to 20 years, they're all coated leather. So the, think of it as a uh, light layer of a clear coat. So a transparent film, a protective film on top of your leather surface. That's why the only thing you can do is clean and protect it against dye transfer, friction damage, UV rays, fading, cracking, all that kind of thing with a uh, leather sealant or like this, a leather coating. Now, what happens if you have a vinyl wrap or PPF? Well, CarPro has developed something like this. This is CarPro Skin. 
So this is a PPF specific ceramic coating, durability anywhere from one to two years. Uh, you can apply this by the way on gloss or matte surfaces as well and PPF and vinyl wraps too. Uh, very easy to apply and uh, yeah, it just works great. It's gonna increase the lifespan, prevent the uh, yellowing of your uh, PPF or your wrap over time, prevents oxidation. And of course you get the self-cleaning properties known from coatings uh, as they're gonna be a lot easier to clean your vehicles during your maintenance washes right so car pro skin if you have ppf or a vinyl wrap and again regardless if it's a glossy surface or a matte surface this is perfect uh, it reminds me kind of like a g technique halo and by the way i applied the uh, g technique halo on a porsche that was ppf a porsche tycon go see that video and i talked about skin as well so you can see how we apply these on those wraps or ppfs uh, next, if you have wheels, the majority of us have clear coated wheels, right? OEM factory wheels. You want to protect those against the UV rays, against uh, salts, against the chemicals, and of course make them easier to clean during your maintenance washes, uh, help prevent a bit of that brake dust from sticking as much or that road grime from sticking as much to the wheels. So you can typically apply the same coating as you would for your paintwork, but a lot of companies, including CarPro, have developed wheel specific coatings that are supposed to have a higher resistance to higher temperatures uh, and more corrosive environments like the wheels because a lot of that brake dust and those increased temperatures. So this one here is CarPro Deluxe. You can also use this by the way on your exterior plastic trim and I absolutely love this. I use this on the inner fender wells of my uh, Porsche. 911 Turbo S and this also helps not only to keep those inner fender wells looking black uh, but it also makes the maintenance cleans a whole lot a lot simpler so yeah great wheel coating that also doubles as an exterior plastics coating durability of these typically any wheel coating because of the harsher environment look for anywhere six months to about 12 months of protection with uh, traditional wheel coatings now if we move on to tires, I was talking about tire coatings, right? A lot of people like to apply dressings, so just those glossy black stuff that you apply that will either give you a matte or satin or um, oily appearance depending on what you prefer. Uh, those typically last anywhere from one to three weeks on average, right? They don't last that long, but if you do regular maintenance washes and you apply more tire dressing, you're good. Uh, but some people, including myself, like to have something as a base layer that will last a lot longer. So CarPro, released this brand new product last year. This is Blackout. This is a tire and rubber coating. The expected durability, according to them, is up to six months. And I can confirm, I've been testing this on my own Porsche. So the uh, wheels that I had for the summer setup, the wheels and tires, uh, that lasted five months. So that was very good. On my winter setup, roughly two to two and a half months uh, of durability. So less in the winter, which is understandable with all the road salts and all that kind of stuff, but still, over two months in the winter and uh, up to five months in my conditions and my environment with this. And I know a lot of my viewers uh, that have uh, that live in uh, kinder climates, uh, for example, like in Florida or in California, uh, with uh, not weather that's not as harsh or no chemicals and road salts during the winter time, right? They have no snow uh, over there. Uh, they can get over six months with this. So this as a base layer will give you that nice satin appearance, that deep black look. You're gonna have a lot of hydrophobic properties, so it's gonna help to reject uh, dirt and grime. You can even use uh, APCs like Multi-X when you're cleaning your uh, tires or any other tire cleaner that you have when you're cleaning your tires during maintenance washes. And this will resist to that because it has good chemical resistance as well. Uh, and even when you're brushing with a stiff bristle brush, this will also resist that. So I really, really like this. It is a fantastic, it, it gives you a satin black gloss. So it's a good blend, not too oily looking, but not too flat or matte looking as well. That sweet spot Goldilocks uh, level of gloss for tires, very, very good. For those of you who prefer just a regular tire dressing, we're gonna talk about that in a few minutes because they have a product for that. Uh, last but not least in their coatings is this one here that I like a lot as well. This is a glass coating. So this is Flyby Forte. This is their new 2021 version. So the uh, CarPro always updates their formulas. Uh, they listen to viewer feedback. They wanna improve the uh, user um, experience, of course, the ease of use. So this is what they did with Flyby Forte. Uh, expect anywhere from, depending again on your conditions and how you manage your wipers, because what degrades glass coatings on your windshield over time is not necessarily the product, but the use of the wiper blades. So the more you use your blades, the more you have that friction, that's what eventually diminishes the coating. So you have a coating, because when you're going over 35 or 40 miles an hour, uh, with the wind blowing by itself, the water would just fly off 
the windscreen making visibility a lot better when you're driving in inclement weather, especially rainy conditions. So that's why we have these glass coatings and Fly by 40 is very good. This is the one I use, by the way, uh, in my glass polishing tutorial. So I had Seri Glass to polish the glass and then I applied one of their coatings for the, um, for the, the, the glass. So you're gonna see that in action if you wanna see the uh, CarPro glass coating. So that is a very good one. So talking about glass, so they have a glass cleaner, right? A lot of people like to use CarPro eraser or an IPA wipe to clean glass. That's fine too. But they developed a uh, specific glass cleaner that I really, really like. This is uh, probably on par with one of my favorite ones, Stoner Invisible Glass. So this is CarPro Clarify. Uh, fantastic to remove grime both inside and out. And this is safe on tinted windows. There's no ammonia in there. So this is an automotive grade glass cleaner and it works very well. Just make sure you use a glass towel. So either a waffle weave or a corduroy style, but something really with a low nap and that doesn't leave any linting behind. That is key when you're um, cleaning glass. So CarPro Clarify, fantastic glass cleaner. So they have an interior cleaner now for multi surfaces, including your leather. So the name I think is pretty clear here, CarPro Inside. So this is ready to use. You're gonna spray on the surface. You're gonna agitate either with a towel or a brush or regardless of how you clean your interior surfaces. Uh, and the key thing with this, when you're done cleaning and wiping, take a secondary clean towel that's just damp with a bit of water and wipe over to remove any residue and to neutralize the cleaner that's inside there. So CarPro Inside, a fantastic one. When you're done cleaning fabric surfaces and your carpets, you wanna protect them uh, against water spills and stains and all that kind of stuff. So CarPro fabric is fantastic. You're gonna spray that liberally on the surface. You're gonna work it in with either a sponge or a microfiber towel, that kind of stuff, to make sure you work it into the fibers. And then you're gonna spray a second light coat over that. And you're gonna wait 24 hours before exposing to any water or rain. Or if you uh, do, like, don't go outside and have any snow on you that's melting on the surface, basically you wanna let this dry for 24 hours. And it's gonna help to make cleaning or liquid spills or dirt and grime on your fabrics and uh, carpets in your vehicle a lot simpler. So this one here, see this like a fabric guard, right? That's the traditional naming in the industry. So one of their maintenance products for ceramic coatings, this one here has been around for a while. So CarPro Reload, this is a silica spray sealant with roughly 5% SiO2 content in there. So this is a light ceramic spray. This is made for maintenance. Durability is anywhere from one to three months. Don't expect something crazy with this as far as durability. This is made to boost or enhance the protection, right? So you have a ceramic coating, regardless of which brand, the majority of them every two to three months require that you top them off with some sort of silica spray sealant like this. So this is an SiO2 spray, a sealant that has SiO2 technology uh, in liquid form. You spray on, you wipe off, and you're good to go. Uh, you can sometimes use these, including this one, as a drying aid. So you're done washing your car, you rinsed it, you lightly mist this on the surface, you use a clean and dry microfiber towel, you start wiping to dry the surface, and that's it. Uh, you dried your vehicle and you added a bit of protection, or you can fully clean your vehicle, dry it, and then apply this on dry paint and uh, this is going to help to boost the properties and maintain the properties of your existing ceramic coating. You can also use this on graphene coatings if you want, they're interchangeable. And uh, so yeah, I think this is one of the products that they can improve uh, because there's so many new SiO2 spray products on the market uh, that have outperformed this as far as durability. I did a long-term durability test on my channel and some have lasted upwards of six, seven, pushing over 10 months. So uh, for the price, CarPro, I think they uh, should work on something new because they're, uh, yeah, like, Again, there are products out there that are pushing the barriers for this. So you can use this as a standalone paint protectant if you want, if you have no protection on your vehicle. But I mean, it's one to three months of protection, so don't expect that much. But for maintenance, very, very good. So I'm gonna leave any streaks if you apply it properly. Now, if you guys, uh, one of my favorite tire dressings, I've had this in a tire dressing battle in the past on my channel, uh, CarPro Pearl. So basically, this is a water-based silicon oxide coat, but see this for rubber, plastics, 
and all that kind of stuff, both inside and outside of the car. So they have all the dilutions here on the label, so you can read for the use, but basically for exterior use, you're gonna dilute this three parts of water to one part of product, and for inside the vehicle, for your plastics, your dash, and all that kind of surfaces, that's gonna be a five parts of water to one part of product. So three to one for outside, five to one for inside the vehicle, and for tires, you can use this undiluted or neat. Uh, or diluted one in one. So half water, half product, that's what I use. So one-to-one -one dilution for tires, CarPro Pearl, it's gonna add a bit of UV protection and it's gonna give you that base protection for the interior plastics that will last a long time. Uh, it doesn't give that oily, disgusting look inside. It has that OEM appearance with just a light sheen, very nice appearance, factory look. And uh, yeah, UV protection. You can even use this as an engine bay dressing on your uh, engine bay plastics and that kind of stuff. So this is a fantastic one. Now you've dressed the interior of your vehicle with this long-term protection, right, Pearl? What do you do for regular maintenance? So if you clean your car every week inside uh, or once a month perhaps, and you just wanna to top it off, well, there's a quick detailer that they released again for a 2022 brand new product. This is Inner QD. Now there's a lot of things going on with this that I really like. So not only does it do a light cleaning capability, so if you have just a bit of light dust, a bit of fingerprints and light dirt, this is not a heavy duty cleaner. So this is for regular maintenance. It's like a quick detailer for the interior, right? So you can clean that, but it also has a bit of UV protection. So you're replenishing the UV of the pearl that you had before that you applied your base protection, right? And it also has anti-static and antimicrobial properties. So not only does dust stick a lot less to those interior surfaces when you apply this, uh, but you're also having a bit of antimicrobial action going there. And we all know the world we live in right now, uh, this your customers, if you have a business, they're gonna love this, or you for the safety of you and your family, this is always a good thing. It smells fresh, smells very, very cool. Uh, it doesn't leave a disgusting, greasy film. Again, it's that OEM matte appearance, nice final detailing touch. And this is a great top off for any uh, inside protection that you've had long-term. This is a good thing to have as a quick detail spray for the interior guys. So for the maintenance of their coatings, they have many different things, right? So we spoke about Reload that you can use once every uh, one to three months, but you can also use something else. So this is Hydro 2 Light. They also have the regular version, so just Hydro 2. That's the concentrated formula that you need to dilute. But I like the light version. Why? Because this is pre-diluted. So it's an RTU, ready to use formula. You spray on, you rinse off, and you're good to go. So basically you wash your vehicle, you rinse it, and while the surface is still wet, you're gonna spray this panel per panel. So one or two sprays per panel. You immediately rinse off with a high pressure, uh, pressure washer. So not more than 2000 PSI though. I recommend 2000 PSI and under, right, to wash cars. I set my pressure washer to about a thousand psi to wash cars but you immediately rinse off with your pressure washer or garden hose if you have a regular garden hose that's fine as well and you're going to see that instant hydrophobic properties so this is a spray on rinse off formula kind of like what gion does with wet coat so those are two of my favorite ones and why i like this specifically well for use on wheels so if you have a wheel coating Obviously, you're not gonna start going into the intricate parts every single maintenance wash with something like a silica spray sealant. So if you want something easy to, to just top off your protection, or even if you have no protection on your wheels and you want something quick, so you're gonna clean the wheels, you're gonna rinse them when they're still wet. One or two sprays on the wheel face. You can also go in the inner barrels and do a few sprays and then you rinse off and boom, you get hydrophobic properties, self-cleaning properties, two to three months of protection. It's just super easy to use. Uh, you can use this on your glass, on your painted surfaces, pretty much on all the exterior surfaces to top off your existing protection in a very quick way. A lot of pros like this because you get around the vehicle super quickly and you topped off the protection. Now, some other thing for your more regular use, because you're gonna have uh, Hydro 2 Light or Reload once every one to three months. But if you wash your car like me, uh, once or twice a week on average, you're gonna wanna use some form of a quick uh, detail spray at the end of your wash for that final detailing touch, or a drying aid if you're towel drying, for example, and you wanna have lubrication on the surface when you're towel drying the car to minimize scratches and swirls, where they have their own quick detail spray, so it's CarPro Elixir. So in this mix, there's a bit of uh, Ec2O, so that's their kind of waterless, rinseless 
wash type material. They have a bit of reload in there uh, and they have um, a bit of Hydro 2 inside as well. So they mixed up a lot of different components. Basically, this is a high gloss quick detail spray. Don't expect much durability, two to four weeks on average. Uh, but what this does, it gives you a bit of that slickness and that nice gloss, that final touch when you do your regular car washings for the exterior. This is fantastic. So quick detail spray, Carpro got you covered, the Elixir. So we did pretty much the uh, entire lineup, guys. I'll make sure to leave any links to all of these in the description under the video for you guys to check those out. Uh, by the way, if you've tested CarPro products, which one is your top product in the lineup? And also let me know why. Drop a comment in the comment section under the video. So if you like the video, smash the thumbs up button. Make sure you click the subscribe button to make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and you don't miss my future videos. And guys, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.